This is the oxygen in these two uh, cylinders. These high school students are scuba nauts, and they're getting ready to set a world record for youth. Today, they're doing some final prep for a trip to Hawaii, where some of them will descend in a submersible to 6,000 feet below the surface of the ocean to study the birth of a new island created by flowing lava. From there, the scuba nauts will hike to the top of Mauna Kea, the world's tallest mountain. At the bottom of the sea and at the top of the mountain, they'll unfurl a banner. From there, the banner that they're going to have is, for the expedition is going to be carried with the astronaut, Captain Dom Gorey, up into space on February the 14th on Space Shuttle Endeavour to uh, really mark the culmination of an exciting expedition uh, for America's next generation of explorers. The scuba nauts have been training for a few years. The USF College of Marine Science provides a lot of support, including instructors who volunteer their time, working with the students on scientific technique and dive training. As I said, it could crush at about 4,000 feet. Today, the students are being reminded by courtesy Professor Walter Japp about what they'll experience when they dive. They're also coached on the proper equipment for hiking up a mountain. And Staff Sergeant Dwayne Gregory, an expert in survival training, reminds them that this is going to be a very difficult trip. Pick up your feet, please. Okay, we'll come look at those, make sure that they're laced properly and so forth. Savannah Manning is one of the team leaders. She's a ninth grader who got involved in scuba nauts after seeing a local TV news report when she was 12. She's been to the gym to prepare for this trip and a week ago had a field test carrying all the equipment. We went to Avon Park and we did a, a wilderness survival training and we basically hiked. Um, we had to map our coordinates and then compass and navigate our own ways to each waypoint and preparation in uh, our gear wise. That was definitely a big test to see what things malfunctioned, how we dealt with it you know, in case that should happen on the mountain. Jennifer DuPont is a Ph.D. student at the College of Marine Science. She's one of the science mentors and dive instructors working with the students, and she's seen them grow into competent young scientists. I don't necessarily want them to become scientists if they don't want to, but the fact that they're learning how to look at a situation, develop a hypothesis, um, research it, and actually come to conclusions, this is what they've learned. And, I mean, they're 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, and they are as adept at science and underwater diving as many of the people that I work with here at USF at the College of Marine Science. I wouldn't hesitate to take most of them out on the boat with me to do my research. So it's just, it's amazing to see these young kids develop into true underwater scientists. And that's probably what the, the best thing about this entire program is for me, to see these kids just grow. We'll have a follow-up report when the scuba nuts return to Tampa Bay. For the University of South Florida, I'm Ken Gullett.